The black and yellow garden spider, also commonly known as an orb weaver. These terrifying spiders are among the largest found in my home state of New York, with females being substantially larger than the males. This gal here shocked me while I was working around my shed. As I was trying to get a close-up with my phone, it moved a little bit and I 100% let out a very high-pitched yelp. From leg to tip, uh, to leg tip, this thing probably would have barely fit in the palm of my hand. Creepy stuff. Pretty big. So what did I do? I gave it a peace offering of ants and filmed it like a little paparazzi. So these spiders hang out in the center of its webs, waiting for something to get stuck in the web. Then it drops down, impressively quick, mind you, injects its venom, and wraps up the little critter before they even knew what hit them. It then saves that little snack for a few hours later, letting the venom do its thing. I was lucky enough that after I gave it a peace offering, it had a snack ready to go, and apparently it was hungry, so it started munching on that. It cleaned each of its legs from the carnage of its previous kill and started to eat the little snack. You know, it's always proper to wash your hands before you're eating. So as I tried to get closer and get some footage on my phone, I must have spooked it because this thing started rocking that nest like a kid that's trying to swing all the way around the swing. I looked it up and it turns out they aren't quite sure why they do this. They think it might be a defense mechanism for when a predator, like a wasp or a bird, or me in this case, comes along and it feels threatened. And doing this will uh, get them caught in the web enough that the spider can then drop out of the web and escape safely to the ground. And turns out they're also not sure why they have this zigzag pattern going down the center of the web either. So it's only seen in spiders that are active during the day, and it's called stablementum. And they think it could either help with the stability of the web or it could help camouflage the spider as it hides in the center kind of behind it or it could make the web more obvious so birds don't go flying through it and ruin it the good news is you don't need to worry about these things killing you or anything like that they seldom bite and really only do so when they're provoked or being bothered and their bite is on the same level as like a bee sting so you're not going to be happy that you got it uh, but it's far from lethal you know excluding allergies so yeah Here's the black and yellow garden spider, a.k.a. an orb weaver, doing orb weaver things. Enjoy.